In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I made this hexagon shelf in SketchUp. I was over on Etsy and just looking at inspiration for woodworking projects and came across these hexagon shelves. I think they're a perfect beginner woodworking project, but once I went into SketchUp and made the model, like I do before any woodworking project, I realized this is also a great SketchUp uh, project for beginners. So I thought I'd do a little tutorial on how I made it in SketchUp and I'll try to make this for absolute beginners. So some of the things I'll mention in here you may already know, but um, I think this will be helpful for people starting to learn SketchUp to build a simple, easy hexagon shelf like this. So the way that this is done, notice that there's six pieces that are exactly the same here. So we're going to build one piece. We're going to copy it six times and we're going to put it together in a really simple way that makes it really fast. So what I'll do first is I'll delete everything by dragging from left to right a square around my project and hitting delete. And that way I can start from the beginning and show you guys what I did. So um, the first thing you'll do is hit the R key. So just to back up, the letter keys on your keyboard are the shortcuts for the tools in SketchUp. And the only way to learn them and memorize them is to build more stuff in SketchUp and play around. So um, I'll call out every key that I hit. That way the beginners can follow along. So I'm going to hit the R key for rectangle. And I'm going to draw a rectangle. Now when I click and drag, it draws a rectangle. and it puts the dimensions right here. So it's one foot, one and 13 sixteenths inch by seven and seven eighths inch. So what I want it six inches by three and a half. So all I have to do after clicking, dragging the rectangle and letting go of it, I haven't touched anything else. I'm going to hit six comma 3.5, enter. So this piece is six inches by three and a half. So when you enter things into, into the dimensions there, you um, just type the number in inches and just put an apostrophe for feet if you're using feet. But again, I put six comma 3.5. So this is the uh, size rectangle we need for our first piece. And now we have to make it three quarters of an inch thick. So these hexagon shelves are actually built with one by fours. And one by fours are actually not one by four. They're three and a half by three quarters of an inch. So the way that you do this is you hit P. And this is the push pull tool. This will allow you to pull things up like this. So we're going to pull it up and we're going to hit 0.75. Or you could do three slash four for three quarters. Give you the same measurement. And before I go any further, I want to paint this thing to look like wood. So if you uh, hit B, it will pull up. I've already been messing with it here, so it went straight to the wood stuff I was using. But when you hit B, um, you'll see this little house icon and this magnifying glass icon. Click on the magnifying glass and it will pull this list of materials here. So you can go to synthetic surfaces and there's a nice little wood pattern here or you can go to wood and select I'm gonna select this dark one now if I were to just click on it it will only paint one side so what you can do about that is from left to right oh, click and drag oh and I, I must mention the space bar will bring you back to this little arrow thing here for clicking and selecting so I hit spacebar and then I click and drag over my project. And now if I hit B and select my color, it'll paint the whole thing. So that's how you do that. So I'm going to hit the O key and that's going to allow me to orbit around. I can pull out, push in, go around underneath. So um, the next thing we want to do is we want to cut the angles on the end. So the hexagon shelf is made with 60 degree angles on each end. And there's two ways to do this. I'm going to do one way here and one way here, just so you guys 
uh, no. So if I click on this tool here, this is the arc tool. When you click on it, there are several options, but this first one here is what we want. So now we've got this little protractor thing or whatever it's called. And I'm going to click on this corner here. If you, if you, or I'm going to hover over this corner first. I wanted to mention if you are hovering over this corner and it looks like this, it's blue or red, this basically is deciding where to make the angle based on the axis here. So you've got the blue axis, the green axis, and the red axis. We want the green one. So when I hover over this corner, I'm going to hit the left arrow key. If I were to hit the up key, it would go blue, right arrow key, red, left arrow key, green. So I'll click on this corner. I'm going to zoom in. You can zoom in while you're using pretty much any tool, actually. So, um, And then I'm going to draw the line above my project, and you'll see why. And I'll click again. And now... The reason I drew the line above the project is if I'd have done it on the corner right here, when I go and make my angle, it actually makes this part up here below the surface of my piece. So I've got it here. I'm going to just hold it out, type in 30, and hit Enter. And so what that did was it gave me a 30 degree angle. So if I draw from here to here, it's exactly 30 degrees right here and that leaves us with a 60 degree angle on the piece because we're cutting off 30 right and so I'm gonna hit the push pull tool which is P and then I'm gonna move it this way and type in 3.5 since my piece is 3.5 inches wide and that will just delete it right there so that's how you cut an angle off of something in SketchUp and then the other way I mentioned is if I take my tape measure here which is T T is tape measure. And from the middle of the line here, I pull it this way, 7 slash 16, I'm typing in, and then enter. If I draw a line from this corner to here, it is the exact same angle. I only know the 7 16 is what I need there because I've made all sorts of projects with 3 quarter inch material that required 60 degree angles. So again, I'll hit P and I'm going to drag it here. I can just stop anywhere, let go, and hit 3.5. It will do the rest for me. I hit enter as well, sorry. And um, anyway, so this is our first piece. Now, pay attention to this part because um, bef before I knew this, I messed up a lot of projects. You want to save everything in your SketchUp as a component. So the way that you do that, you can either drag from left to right with the select tool which you'll get by clicking spacebar and that will select everything or if you triple click it will select everything on the piece and then we're going to go to control or right click click on the thing and go to make component now we can call this whatever we want there's only one component we're going to copy it six times I'll just put um, one and click OK so now we have our component. So the reason we made it a component is if we were to try to move it around, I'll hit M, that's the move tool, we would warp one side of it here or all sorts of stuff depending on how much of it is selected. But now that it's a component, it can be copied and moved and manipulated as a whole. So we have our one piece. Now what we want to do is copy it six times. And there's a very easy way to do this. I'm going to hit M. So this is my move tool. Now take a look at the red arrows here that I'm moving around. When I hit Option, I'm using a Mac. It may be a different key on Windows. But when I hit Option, well, I don't know why. There it is. Uh, notice this plus sign comes up. So that's, that's not only going to move our object, but copy it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move and copy just by clicking and dragging this piece over six inches. So I just start to move it, let go, hit six, enter. And so now there's my other piece. And what I'm going to do before I do anything else is hit X five. So that's gonna make five total copies. So we had the one original plus five more. That gives us six pieces. So now all we have to do is assemble this 
into our hexagon shelf. And this part I found pretty interesting. And it's one of the reasons I decided to make the tutorial here. It just uh, seemed like a lot of fun and would be a good lesson for beginners. So now all my pieces are touching on the ends. So all I have to do is fold them into a hexagon. And the way that you do that is you hit Q. Q is the rotate tool. And I'm going to click on this corner here. Remember, if it's on the blue or the red or something, we're going to use the green. And it and that's based off of where I drew this. If you were facing this way and you drew it over near this line, you might have to use a different one. But I'm going to use the green one. So I'm going to select by hitting spacebar, which brings my selector tool. Click on this first one here. Hit Q for the rotate tool. And I'm going to start in this corner. And I'm just going to click anywhere um, along the line here. So I clicked on the corner, I let off, and now I'm just going to select anywhere on the same edge, click again, and now it will pivot on the first place I clicked. So I'll bring it up a little bit, and I'm going to type 60 for 60 degrees. And now it is perfectly attached to the other one. And now I want to take both of these pieces and do the same thing. So I'll click on this one, I'll hold shift and click on the other one. And that's how you select multiple objects. And now I just have to do the same thing. Go down here, hit Q, click on the corner, anywhere on this line will do. Bring it up, hit 60, enter. And now I can go to the selector tool, hold down shift and add this piece. So if you get lost, if you click on something, hold shift, you can add to it. So now we've got these three pieces selected. We're going to hit Q, move here, 60. I'll just kind of move along a little faster since you guys know where this is going. Go back to the selector tool, hold shift to add this piece, Q, click on the corner, click on this line here, 60 degrees, enter. We just need to do this two more times and we have our hexagon shelf. So shift, select, Q, click on the corner, bring it up 60 degrees. And there it is. That is the hexagon shelf. So um, I'm not sure if that was a great tutorial. I'm uh, this is going to be my first one on this channel, but I spend a lot of time in SketchUp making things and I thought Maybe I could help a few people learn SketchUp by publishing some of this on YouTube. So um, let me know what you think. If I need to slow down, if I need to explain something, um, what I really want to do is help beginners. So if you're a beginner, you would be helping me by letting me know what you thought of this tutorial and what I could do better. So just leave it in the comments below and I'm going to um, make another one soon. Thank you for watching.